Hi YouTube, it's Wisconsin Shoe Guy here, and I'm here today to talk to you about these shoes. And no, they are not Mirmen. These are Bruno Mollies. This is a very cool shoe. Here's the uh, logo, Bruno Mollie, made in Italy. Uh, I believe that this is an Italian patent slash corrected grain type leather. You can take a look at some of the creases and feel free to comment if you feel like I'm reading on this wrong. Uh, but a, um, a really nice uh, shoe and one that um, has probably the softest rubber soles I've ever seen in my life. This whole sole here, you could just look at how much I, how much it gives and the nubs that come out actually come out even more. It's got an interesting commando sole, but again, super soft, kind of gummy, I guess is the best word for it. And you can see the brand on there, which I don't know. But i um, really happy with these. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of corrected grain leather, but, uh, you know, when I'm out in the rain, uh, it certainly doesn't, you know, mess up the polish. Uh, I just need to remember to use the Butte de Cure line from uh, Saphir uh, when polishing this instead of the Medel de Or line. And then I don't have a problem because uh, it doesn't absorb into this at all, really. So, but uh, even so, this came with a nice uh, burnish on it. And you can see that that burnish is starting to wear away a little bit. But it's still got pretty nice, pretty nice coloring, pretty nice uh, differential. Uh, the light just pulls off of these really well. Uh, they've got some interesting design issues, right? Normally, the split toe I, I like, and I like having the, the piece up here, having a seam there. Uh, I mean, it is on the inside but it's a little on the weird side. Um, but that also, um, if this was the same piece, it would make a lot of sense, meaning that that was actually one piece of leather, but I don't know that. Uh, so that's just pure speculation on my part. The, uh, the thing that I think I, I find most interesting about these shoes is the welt. So let's talk a little bit about welts. Your typical shoe in my collection is going to have a Goodyear welt, which is a welt that is here. You can see kind of the line here on the on the sole and it gets sewn in here and then there's like a little groove that they have here and that's a Goodyear welt. Now, sometimes if this is really thin, uh, it can be a uh, Blake stitch if it's like inside the shoe. Uh, sometimes they can hide it and uh, blind stitch it. There's a lot of different things that they can do, but this uses an entirely different welting system and this is called a Norwegian welt. And so what this does is it has the welt is sewn with one stitch to the sole and then another stitch to the shoe. So you can see how that actually works. And uh, it's a pretty cool, um, it's a pretty cool design. I like the way it looks. Uh, there are a lot of different versions of this. There's even a Goiser welt, uh, which is a little bit uh, um, uh, nicer, usually uh, handmade, uh, done by... Um, you know, your big uh, outfits like uh, Heinrich Dinkelacker or the like. But uh, this is a cool design. It's not common. It's not even common among um, Bruno Mali. Um, you will see uh, Norwegian welts on a lot of the higher end shoes, like an Alton Bautier or a um, uh, uh, St. Crispin's or something like that. So it, it, and they can go really, really complicated with really beautiful braids and things like that. So it's, it's a nice feature. Um, I especially like it on a split toe. Um, and I find that, uh, even with this leather being something different than I normally have, these are just a great addition to the uh, collection. Uh, one of the things I like best about them aside from that is the color. This color is kind of in between everything else that I have. Uh, but let's take a look at quality. Take a look at that stitch density. They do a pretty nice job. These sewers know what they're doing. There's a lot of consistency. This is the hand welting. That all looks pretty, pretty nice. So you've got a fancy welt. You've got good quality stitches. I will say that as corrected grain leather goes, this is probably the best I've seen. So I can't even really mark them down for that. A lot of companies use corrected grain. Uh, they'll call it polished cobbler. They'll call it polished leather. They'll call it the book binder. They'll call it binder. Um, and some of the shoes can be, you know, 900 bucks. That has nothing to do with, uh, you know, this is a choice people make because it requires less care. And, um, you know, now it does kind of crack a little bit easier and those wrinkles can get kind of ugly, but 
from my perspective, I'm I'm really happy with these. Um, I feel like they're they're a good investment, um, and they've panned out. Now these shoes um, are four five hundred dollar range when they were new. Um, I think I got them on sale. So uh, either way, I'm I'm really happy. I feel like they're worth the uh, the investment, and they're the type of shoe that's going to last forever. So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think.